What is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is the baddest bitch on the block, Eric Tavante, giving you bonnet realness because it looks like someone did a drive-by and took my fucking hairline. So until I get that together, this is what y'all get, okay? Does not take away from the fact that I am once again the baddest bitch on the block. <laughs> and it is time for bitch. You better read. So let's hop right on in. We have things to talk about. Number one. Okay, number one. Yes, I took the Jiffy Pop off. It was a little hot under there. <laughs> this gives me a little more light around the face. So that's besides the point. Number one, April Jones. I don't even want to say in Little Fizz because Little Fizz is kind of playing it low key, but April Jones is truly tarnishing her reputation, okay? So she took to Instagram Live earlier just to like share her piece about why everyone else is mad about her being a homie bust down. And you know, I'm gonna post that there so you guys can watch. I don't even need to reiterate because I don't want those words of just hoism <laughs> going off my tongue. I'm so mad, I'm getting the dick that I want. I love it, oh my God, it's the best dick of my life. <laughs> it really genuinely is. I can't even be mad, I can't not be happy because I think the happiness comes from just being happy. And then like, y'all trying to really, y'all trying to really make me mad. But I don't know how to be mad, I'm not a mad person. <laughs> I don't know how to be mad. I think I just live my life and I just don't know how to be mad. I have great friends. The friends are my best friends and it's just so amazing to be able to have a dick to suck on. It's amazing <laughs> to be able to fucking have a clit to be able to lick on. But you know, April, in a moment of seriousness, you have made yourself look like a homie bust down, okay? And it's just, it's a little tasteless at this point. Now, I'm not necessarily mad at the fact that you got a little fizz. I guess like people do do things like that. I think it's trifling when it happens, but you know to each his own um, But you know for you to kind of just parade it around and kind of make it seem like we're all hateful bitches that are hating on your holistic ways <laughs> Mark that down and put it in the dictionary like we're hating on your holistic ways And that's really not what it is, you know first off. I think Monice is very valid in her claim to you know, be mad because you and Fizz were parading around like y'all were just friends and everything was real cope aesthetic, knowing that y'all were messing around. And then you got Monisa's son, you know, caught up in your web of lies, trying to convey the lies to her, knowing she knows better. And it's just real public. Like, y'all haven't even tried to keep it low key. Now, I don't know what Omarion is doing. Loki, I think someone should check on him because he really could be on some like bomb these bitches type shit because he's a little too calm. I could never have this much peace of mind while that shit is going on. But that's okay, Omarion. You got blessings coming your way and you're a bigger celebrity than Fizz and April has. So yeah, I just, April, I truly need you to take it down because the Instagram live videos of you, you know, just talking about how good your pussy is and talking about how in love you are with the homie bust down fizz, like, I just, uh, uh. I want to say that this is beneath you, but truth be told, because you're not that much of a celebrity, I didn't know what was above you, beneath you, at your level, but like, this is just tasteless. I thought I could fuck with you, but nah, man. April, this ain't it. Whew, number two. So number two, Apple's new update features over 400 gender neutral emojis, okay? At the start of this, I would just like to say that I'm never going to be able to find my damn blue heart and sparkles on time, bitch. Okay, it's already hard as hell to find the emojis that I want to find. So now that there are over 400 gender neutral ones, I, I'll never go to Android though. I'll never go to Android. That's besides the point. So Apple basically made 400 gender neutral emojis. And with this, you can switch the dynamic between men and women as couples, or I guess like well, if it's not, it's non-gender conforming. Two individuals, you can interchange colors, all this stuff. You know, all in the name of inclusivity, which is great. However, keeping it a buck, I don't see a difference between the boys, the girls, and the gender neutral emojis. I, I think in the real world where we are making gender neutral clothing and um, gender neutral toys, you know, I guess that makes a little more sense, but in terms of the emojis, I can't spot a difference. It just looks like, you know, I get, mm, I, mm, I don't even know, like, is, mm, I don't, <laughs> I'm gay, so fuck it. You know, I, the girls is giving Ellen DeGeneres, uh, you got a little Rosie O'Donnell in there, um, you know, you, you, mm, yeah, I, I don't necessarily, 
necessarily know, like I appreciate the effort. I don't think the execution was worth the effort though because it doesn't look like any different. And anyone who says that, you know, this is ignorant or I'm not being welcoming. I mean, you sit there and tell me that you knew without the headline that this was gender neutral, bitch. And just not a different boy emoji and a different girl emoji. You know, I don't want to say that we're taking it too far, but I feel like if it, mm, hmm, I don't know. I'm so divided in this one because I like that they're taking the effort to do it, but I don't think that it should have been done because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't look like it. I don't like what we all trying to do with these emojis is my question. They don't look any different. There is no distinguishable difference between the emojis that were already there and the ones that they just made. All y'all did was add clutter. Y'all added clutter to the emojis. Now we have, I don't know how many emojis that I'm going to have to sift through when bitch all I'm going to want is an ice cream cone, a blue heart, a sprinkle, and the fingernails with some nail polish. You know, I've been asking you guys to change nail polish hands so I can do my shady hand for months now and y'all want to do everything but that at this point i'm real over it apple i'm real over it hear me when i say it number three so number three um the university of oxford student union bans clapping but instead promotes jazz fingers or spirit fingers um yeah you know this is another example of weird shit going on in the world um so basically, a lot of people are being forthcoming with their struggles with anxiety. A lot of bitches is anxious. That's real. Uh, I mean, look at the world we live in. There's a lot of reason to be anxious right now. But, uh, so yeah, they basically said that a lot of people are triggered by the sound of clapping. So they want you guys to bring it on with some jazz fingers. And honestly, I... No, bitch. Look, if you can't handle a social function where we're going to be clapping, you need to stay home. Enough is a motherfucking no. Okay, I just, I like, what? Uh, can you imagine being at a football game and then you, some shit goes off? I mean, you don't clap at a football game. Ooh, that's how you know I don't watch sports. Um, imagine being at the Apollo Theater and you gotta clap, but you can't clap. So now everybody, as soon as the performance is done, whoosh, loud, ta-da, watch out now. Like, you bitches really need to pack it in. Enough. No mas, enough, okay? Like, are we serious? I mean, I mean, I know that this doesn't even necessarily, this is not the U.S. that this happened. This is the University of Oxford, which is like New England. So, I, mm, I mean, as long as they keep that shit over there, U.S. don't get no ideas because a bitch likes to clap. I like to celebrate, okay? It makes sense. And me as a dancer, like, at the end of my shit, if everyone just breaks out in jazz fingers, not only is that just going to be gay as hell, I'm going to be over it. Like, I can't feel that. No fucking jazz fingers, you mime-ass bitches. Like, uh, over it. I'm over it. Number four. <laughs> so number four. An Australian doctor sends 9,000 threatening messages to an ex-lover of hers. Now when I say ex-lover, bitch, I'm borderlining Nikki Parker here. <laughs> because Denise Jane Lee, who is apparently 40 years old, she's an Australian doctor, went on a, went on a, a series of four dates with a man from July to September 2015 and had two sexual encounters and now she is sending 9,000 threatening messages not only to him but his new girlfriend and his relatives. So Denise, was the dick good bitch? Because <laughs> this is real fatal attraction, okay? I just, mm. now if you are an Australian doctor, I don't know how health the medical field is giving it up out there, but girl, what are you doing? Like, is this what you do when you with your patients? Like, are you that hateful? Just like, hold on, I'll, I'll get you on life support in a second. Let me send some, fuck you. The dick was trash and the shit was in there, my microscopic bitch said. Like, Denise, Denise, what? You know, I just, well, she ain't white, she ain't black, it's a win. <laughs> aye, aye, mate. I don't like, what the? Like, what is wrong with you people? I think this whole bitch you better read has been a series of just like, it just shows how fucked up the world is. Okay, we got April Jones with the homie bust down. You know, we can't clap in public places no more. We got a bunch of emojis to sift through. It's just a lot. It's a lot. I don't know how to feel anymore. But, you know, to Denise, I don't even, like, can you put someone in jail behind that? Like, I, I know it's threatening and I'm sure there is a charge behind it, but like, it can't be anything too severe. But mm, I just think Denise needs to be loved. <laughs> I don't think Denise needs sex, because clearly once someone puts it down, she don't know what to do with herself. But you know, I believe all humans are pretty much redeemable. So, 
Yeah, Denise. I just, I think you need some me time. I think you need some me time. Maybe we lost your number. Maybe put your phone down. You know, go do some surgeries or something. I don't know. No. You're wildin', sis. You're wildin'. <laughs> number five. So number five. I don't know if y'all know this, but I didn't know this. That Dolly Parton originally offered I Will Always Love You to Patti LaBelle before Whitney Houston on the Bodyguard soundtrack. Well, and I, my question though is, um, do you ever regret turning down singing I Will Always Love You before Whitney Houston sang it? Was that song offered to you, Patty? Dolly Parton offered it to me. What? Before, before uh, The Bodyguard. Okay. And I said to Dolly, oh yes, I want to do that song. And before I could say really yes, it was in the movie and Whitney killed it. And, you know, as much love as I have for Patti LaBelle, because I do, I really, really love Patti LaBelle. Uh, I, and I mean, of course, I love Whitney Houston, but I did not want to hear Patty's version of I Will Always Love You. Now, for those of y'all that don't pay attention to Patty LaBelle, I mean, for those of y'all that do pay attention to Patty LaBelle, y'all know how she sings? And when I tell y'all, that song would have been dragged, bitch. Y'all remember Harambe dragging a kid before he was put down? Patty would have dragged that song longer. <laughs> okay, let's be serious and call a spade a spade. Patty LaBelle is amazing, but once she does the bird wings, oh, it's a dub, a rubber dub dub, bitch, get in the tub. Like, she was going to carry that song out, and I, I honestly prefer it to be Whitney Houston. Uh, she said, um, that she would incorporate it into her show one of these days, and I'm sure we'll hear it. And I'm pretty sure y'all gonna hear exactly what I'm talking about. Patty LaBelle is going to, that one high note that Whitney hit in the end, Patty gonna hit about 10 of those. And I am low key scared for my life and my eardrums. <laughs> Patty LaBelle can absolutely sing, but sometimes I'm just like, oh, oh. that's where the period goes. Oh, oh. That's where the period goes. And I'm just like, girl, all right, cut the mic, cut the audio, cut the mic. <laughs> I don't know. But I do love Patti LaBelle. I truly do. And I like that she answered the question with grace in class. Like, she wasn't like, I would have killed it. She was very respectful of the fact that Whitney got it first. I just, uh, such queenly stuff. But that was all for Bitch You Better Read. I like that I wrapped that up on a high note because everything else, like the rest of them stories, like what is wrong with you all? <laughs> Leave it to Patty and Whitney to end it on some grace. I don't know. I'll see y'all next week. Peace.